Okay, so this is uh, the Smiths, and this is Rubber Ring. Um, this was a uh, requested like I want to say like a month ago or so, but uh, I never got into it. I mean, I kind of forgot about it really, and uh, I kind of feel bad for the person who requested it, and they requested it again recently. So I was like, oh yeah, I should do that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that Rubber Ring, and uh, apparently they must like it. So I want to get into it, and uh, I see on Genius.com over here, there's a lot of uh, like marking and about the song and all that stuff, so I'm uh, I'm ready to get into this. All right, so we're gonna listen to it, talk about it after. All right, uh, almost four minutes. All right. say right off the bat I'm putting it out there this is one of my favorite Smith songs I've heard um, I love the rhythm I love his voice like on every other track pretty much uh, I just really I don't know uh, uh, something about the song it, uh, I can already see me putting this on the playlist uh, 
I really like the message of the song as I was reading throughout some lyrics here on Genius.com. Shout out to them. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I could talk about uh, in the About section here. So it says this song uh, is well respected by Smith's fans and critics. Uh, it is a song about coming of age and leaving the awkward, difficult period in life that is being a teenager. I'm around that age, I guess, now. Uh, Morrissey urges the listener to never forget those songs that kept you going through the tough times. Even though now you may have matured and their effect or your admiration for them may have lessened. Uh, coupled with a funky mistral esque guitar piece by Marr and interludes of interviews claiming everybody's clever nowadays, nowadays uh, the surrounding sound effects really reaffirm uh, Rubber Ring as a piece deeply entrenched and admired within this expansive and electric back catalog of the Smiths. I feel like there's a lot of big words here. Um, the title is both a nod to a vinyl record as it is round and made of rubber and the life preserver rubber ring okay that is tossed into water to save people from drowning. To many teenagers songs by the Smiths are their rubber ring. Uh, this music helps them get through tough times in their life. Yeah and that's pretty much why I would say I really like this song just with the message just like that. It's uh, obviously with a lot of Smith songs I mean um, there's always a deep message there because, I mean, Morrissey, uh, I've seen people say that Morrissey wrote the lyrics and that Marr would do the music. And, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I think it was just Morrissey who did the lyrics, but anyway, he's a heck of a writer and, uh, just a lot of, he could do relatable songs. I mean, I got to get into his, uh, solo stuff too. I got to react to some of that just to see what else he did by himself really. And, uh, yeah, it would just be interesting. Um, so yeah, also, it, uh, in the about or whatever here, they added that in a 2015 Reddit AMA interview, Noel Gallagher of Oasis, now the High Flying Birds, has named this track as one of his favorite uh, from the Smiths. So, yeah, apparently even Noel Gallagher, I know he's a big Smiths fan, so this is one of his favorites. I'd like to know his list, actually, just to see what he likes the most, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there must be something about that out there. But anyway, um, yeah, I just really like uh, the message in this song about like not forgetting those songs that got you through and uh it's a it's a truthful thing i mean you gotta remember those songs and i mean those bands and don't forget where you came from kind of thing and uh yeah it's i like the whole rubber ring that like those songs are like a rubber ring that can save you from drowning and uh it's just yeah it's very it's mean a lot of meaning in this i mean i'm tripping over my words here and uh yeah, I mean, I like the outro uh, with uh, Do You Love Me Like You Used To and the whole Oh La Da Di La Da Day and all that. Uh, and then the end there with like, there's the interview part or whatever where it says you are sleeping, you do not want to believe. And then everybody's clever nowadays. I like how they added those kind of parts in. And actually it kind of reminded me of an Oasis song just because I was thinking of Oasis uh and there's a clip of a John Lennon inter interview they put in at the end of a, a song. I think I'm, I'm at a time. And uh, yeah, that that's just remind me of that just because I haven't really heard like an interview be put into a song before except for like these two times, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's just what gave me the, made me think of that. And I mean, I know Noel was a big Smiths fan, so he, he might have got the idea from this or whatever. But I mean, because I know he... Uh, pretty much stole a lot of ideas from other people and he claims he did he admits that he doesn't care and uh so yeah anyway less about Noel Gallagher more the, about the Smiths here um yeah I just love the song I mean there's not much else I can say I love this and I can see why somebody requested it a few times I mean the message is great and uh yeah and I really like the lyrics here in the second verse but do not forget the songs that made you cry and the songs that saved your life Yes, you're older now, and you're a clever swine, and uh, but they were the only ones who ever stood by you. And uh, that's just some deep stuff right there. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll end it here. Um, I love this, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching all that stuff, and thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting and everything uh, people do that watch this. It's all nice, and uh, I appreciate anyone watching me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day or night, whatever it is for you. And uh, yeah, all right.